a business debit card as well. What do you say to people that's, that say, you know, well, I love having a credit card because it allows me to get points for flights or, you know, whatever it might be uh, for other perks. And if I'm tracking it, just like I would a debit card, then I'm missing out on all these other perks. Mm. Well, I found the people who actually could stand to benefit and actually have any meaningful rewards make enough money and spend enough that they don't need the rewards. So it's kind of hilarious at that point to be like, if you make $150,000, the $1,000 in rewards is not changing your life whatsoever. Mm. And the mental calories you're spending to play the game and maximize is not worth your time. And so I break down, There's in, in chapter three on credit cards, I break down eight different character archetypes that I found with credit uh -huh. cards. And so there was the rewards redeemer. Mm -hmm. There's the world traveler. The person's like, I got to have my airline miles. Right. And I break down, you got to spend $50,000 in order, in order to get your $250 flight. But you don't even know that because what do they give you? Points and miles. What is 100,000 miles? We don't know anymore. The credit card companies want to confuse us. And I found this out from an ex-Capital One employee. She told me verbatim that these credit card companies run 10,000 experiments a year on consumers and A-B test them to go, oh, if we switch it from cash back to points, it triggers something different in their brain. It's like Chuck E. Cheese. Wow. You're like, I don't know what 100,000 points is, but it feels like a lot. Let's right. sign up for the That's bonus. That's like two candy bars. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So most people, they're stepping over.